what's going on, YouTubers? I'm going to start a new series on my channel, and it's something you might not give a shit about. And it's a series called Budget Beers. So I'm saving for a wedding. I've said this many times. Saving for, you know, house repairs, etc. And I'm trying to do things to cut costs in my life, and one of them is my beer habit. So there may be a small disappearance after Review 200 for a few months, just until catch up on some bills. We had a flooded basement and um, some water damage in our ceiling with all the rain in Minnesota. So with that said, I'm kicking off Budget Beers. And Budget Beers is a series where I'm going to take local macro loggers and or international macro loggers, i.e. AB InBev, Coors, all those, and I'm going to review them. Because you know what? A majority of America drinks macro light loggers. And, uh, not that I'm probably going to have a lot of positive things to say about these beers, but I'm going to try to review them subjectively, objectively, whatever you want to call it, and keep an open mind. So we're going to start with something in New Ulm, Minnesota. This is something that's been brewed for I don't even know how long, clocking at 4.6% alcohol by volume. This is the Grain Belt Premium. This is probably starting on the highest point I can get for uh, American Macro Lager. And with that said, I am going to pour these out. They all look the same. Some of them may be darker in hue, but uh, this is a New Glarus Imperial Pint. Uh, so, yeah, fitting glass. Anyways, this one pours out, as you can see, massively overcarbonated, in my opinion. Um, does contribute to some of the drinkability. Uh, three fingers, a big, big, big soapy uh, white bubbles, lots of carbonation booming off the sides of the glass. You can see it just festering that head. And let's go ahead and get the nose of this one. This one gets a 75 on BA, interestingly enough. Um, sounds like it says, uh, the Green Belt uh, premium recipe has changed over the years. One thing that has remained the same is its same legendary unique taste. So let's go ahead. With never having light beer on this channel, we'll see what we got. Um, a lot of that... Uh, I don't want to say wet cardboard. I don't really want to insult this beer too much. But a lot of that just sweet corn-esque um, pale pills and malt. Just really, really clean. Really slightly bready. Yeasty almost. But definitely more heavy on the sweet corn note. And uh, just overall doesn't smell like a whole lot. Does smell hella drinkable. Hella cheap. This is 24 bottles for $18.99. So you do the math. Cost per bottle is less than a dollar. It's technically macro craft, if you will, in the August Shells Brewing Company because they make Grain Belt, if you didn't know that. I'm going to pour the rest in here and let's get some slammability going. Cheers. That's what this beer is made to do. This beer can either be enjoyed in... Um, over time, or it can be consumed in large doses and potentially two gulps. Um, initially, I do just get a nice touch of sweet breadiness, um, clean malt, and a hair of uh, just that typical lager yeast for macro lagers. Um, searching for hops. Um, Taking a traditional Pilsner, German-style Pilsner, or Schill's Pilsner, and comparing to this, obviously the hop, it's got to be less than 20 IBUs. Uh, it's drinkable. Um, it's not my least favorite of them. That's why I'm starting high. And uh, we'll just gradually continue this train downward. They can, they, whew, uh, hopefully you like those burps, and hopefully you get the same burps that I'm achieving with this. Not sure of the distribution of Grain Belt. I would imagine premium hits nationwide. If they don't, I'm sorry. Let me know what your local premium light macro lager is. This isn't even the light version. I'll review that too. So we're going to go ahead and try to review 14, 14, one four, shitty macro American lagers. And this one, like I said, is not really shitty. This one... Title says it all. It's premium. It's a premium macro lager, in my opinion. I've kept you for five fucking minutes. American macro lager. With that said, Shell's Brewing Company. Um, 
premium grain belt. 75 on Beer Advocate. i got to go up there and give it like an 82. I think it does everything right. It's got just enough bitterness to let you know that it's German craft or macro craft for that matter. And then it's just got enough drinkability to where it's not too sweet. It's balanced. It goes down hard. I'm going to finish this pint. You guys enjoy and let me know what you think of a shitty macro month, if you will. I'm sure I can find 30 shitty macro beers. So see you in the next one. Cheers. Ooh.